part two. Let's get some blue in there. We have a couple of different blues. I have a light sky blue right here. It's Carbothello pencils like we had discussed. Just get a light blue. Like you don't need the exact same blue that I'm using. You just want a light blue. Just a light blue. So get that light blue in there. And this pastel mat, that'll take a bunch of different layers of colors. So you see how I'm leaving gaps? It's not like one big smudge of blue. I'm literally making little veins with the blue. We have that blue in there, it looks so pretty. Get, get this good. Get Angel good to where she looks great. Then we'll take this to the local framing shop and get this framed up. All right, so right next to the pupil, we have a green, a darker green. So I'm making little veins coming out of the pupil of green. And a lot of this is really subtle. For example, like the purple in the ear, it's really subtle. So you're wondering, nobody will probably ever notice this. Why am I doing it? Because that's the difference between the beginner and the more advanced level is to start noticing all these little subtle differences and then put those in there. Because we have greens and then we have blues. All right, so I don't want to put this green everywhere. Just put it here and there. There we go. All right. So now let's go to some browns. So I know I have this light brown and the light brown is sort of represented over here. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have a light brown and it just comes out of the outskirts here. I have a little light brown over here. Have some brown over there and then you have that deeper brown as you come in and the deeper brown is just on the outskirts right here just on the outskirts it's not a lot just on the outskirts there and then we have like a little brown outside in the green like right there and then a little like right here So that dust is going to mix in like that. There we go. All right, now let's get our applicator and blend all that together. It's like a Christmas surprise. And you want to make sure to pull once you on the once you're on the outskirts of the eye, pull in. Whatever you do, don't don't grab this and make a circle with your applicator. If you make a circle, it's not going to look right. The veins are going out away from the pupil, right? The veins are going out. So you want to get and make sure that your applicator is going the same way. Right now I'm pulling in towards the pupil and then later I will go out away from the pupil. So that way you get that realistic look inside of the eye with the veins and everything else. You just pull in. So now I'm sort of pulling out. Really, really light touch here. All right, and now let's get that brown around the pupil and pull out of the pupil. There we go, and get over in this side and pull out a little bit. And you see it's really light, light-handed, really light-handed right here. So around the pupil, you'll notice you have this area, like that. You have that area around the pupil, like that. Okay, so now that you effectively have ruined the inside of the pupil with your black. We're gonna come back in 
and reestablish that fine line. Reestablish that line. Reestablish those darks. Make sure and don't hit that highlight area. There we go. Hit that dark. That, get that dark right in there like that. So that looks really good. I like that. So we're going to come back with our magical pastel and dress this up a little later. For now, let's finish this with the brown. I, I would like to get some of this dark gray. Dark gray right in there. So that's going to sort of mingle with the other colors. Like that. And then we'll get our applicator and blend it all in. Come out from the pupil. Really light, light, light touch. Like that. Really light touch, like that. All right, that looks good, except I sort of messed that area up there. I pulled out a little too, too prominently here. So I'm just gonna hit the eraser with it. I'm gonna barely touch it there, there we go. So that's what I want. I like this, I think it looks all right. I do want to get a little more of this blue in here. I don't think it has enough blue like right here. So I'm just coming in here with the blue, making sort of a veiny look. There you go. All right, so I think that looks great. That looks exactly like what I want. All right, so the next step is to get your veins in. And you get your veins in with different colors. For this particular scenario, I wanna use white. But before I use white, I wanna get a little more of the darker blue in there because that white is really going to bring up the, the the value a little too much so I really want a little more of this blue in there a little more of the blue outside of there and as well as I really want a little more of this green not too much but enough that I want to get the value and the color down a little bit because when I come in here with a white it's gonna make it too light so now let's smooth this out and then let's come in with the veins. All right, so that looks absolutely terrible, but it'll look better in a moment, I promise you. All right, so we obviously ruined our blacks again. So we'll put the blacks in and then we'll do the veins. All right, black, go back in. There we go, okay. So now we're gonna go with the veins, and the veins are going to be, in this case, white. I'm just gonna make like a little vein here and there. Like that. I pressed a little too hard on that, but it's all good, we can smooth it out. that so I think that I looks bang on what I want yes it does looks bang on so we'll get more detail in the surrounding area and that's gonna really help it but I think this is what I want for now all right so now let's add the highlight which is your next step so I have a little bit of a lighter area here it's not exactly a highlight but it's a lighter area so that's a little too light. Actually, I think that's going to work. Okay, so let's get a highlight. And don't be shy with the highlight. Now, there was some drama on a board, I remember. Somebody saying that you need a highlight in every eye. And if you don't have a highlight in every eye, it looks bad. And I don't know how I feel about that. I think it really adds to the effect. Is it necessary for every eye, even if there wasn't a highlight in the original picture? I don't know. I lean towards replicating what's in the original picture. I don't think you can go wrong with doing that. 
All right, so as we come out through here, we have a highlight right here. We have a highlight here. We have a highlight there. All right, cool. All right, I am actually pretty happy with that. I think it looks really good. Okay, so now let's come back in and get the outline fixed uh, because right now we have sort of a, a goofy outline. I'm going to come in with a different pencil. I know you guys are going to kill me because I said only get Carbothello when I come in with a different pencil, but that's how I am. Was it do as I say, not as I do, right? So I, I want to get this defined area. You need to get the darks. It's time for the darks, my friends. It's time for the darks. Now, you'll notice on the picture, it's not a complete line. It has gaps in it due to the highlight. And you want to replicate that in here. So if your picture has gaps, then you want to replicate that. So now we're coming in and we're making, so we're committed at this point. So we're on like a third date here. We're fairly committed to this. So I found out I like these eyes. And you don't want to make raccoon eyes. That's the next thing. Um, if you're drawing a raccoon, please make raccoon eyes. Other than that, you need to replicate what's in the picture. If it's not raccoon eyes, then making raccoon eyes will look absolutely terrible. So make sure that you don't get that raccoon eyes look to your pet, unless it's something you really need in there, unless it's a raccoon, then that's okay. Other than that, please pay attention and don't just get a huge border in the eye. And the next thing is don't make it too symmetrical. If it looks too perfect, because we do have these guys, sort of like me, that are OCD and you know, they want to get the exact measurement of the eye and these are the guys that are going to have like a protractor out and, and you know, get the exact dimensions of the eye or whatnot. You don't want to do that. All right, so I messed it up. You would think I would not mess stuff up how many of these I've done, but I messed this up. You got to see me mess it up. Okay, so coming in... Through here, then come up, and we have a highlight in here. Make sure and don't cover that too much. And then we come up through here. All right, so that looks pretty good. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. I think that looks actually really good. It needs more darks, but whatever. All right, so now we have a pattern coming out here, and now we start with our dots and dashes with these pencils, right? So you'll notice I'm not drawing a line. I'm making dashes, dash, 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 right? So it's not a line, it's just a series of dashes and this will haunt us for the remainder of the picture because the entire picture from now on is nothing but dashes and dots, literally. Uh, you're gonna get tired of me saying that, I promise you. I promise you. All right, so let's come out here with this one line. And this one line comes out through there. And it comes over like that. Okay, it looks pretty, then it sort of fades out there. There we go. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay, so let's reestablish the highlights inside of this area here. We have one right here. We have one right here. And one right there. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now your next step is to shade the top part of the eye. When you have an eyelid, 
up here, 90% of the eyes in the world will have shade up on this top part. And you want to make sure and get that nice and shady. For this picture, not so much. For most pictures, I mean 90% of the pictures you'll do, you'll have shade up here. So that's the next step is to get that shade in up there. So we do have sort of a brown shade here, not black or dark gray in this particular case, but we make sure it's shady. What you don't want up here is a light area. It doesn't look natural. Your eye will say, you know, that doesn't look bad. It looks natural at all. And it will effectively ruin the eye. It's really, really important to get shade up in that top part there. So let's blend this a little bit. We're going to get it and just sort of drag it in a little bit. Just sort of get it relaxed here. Watch your highlight. Don't ruin it. And get it and pull it in a little bit. Just a little bit. Don't want to lose a lot of detail there. There we go. That looks good. All right. Then the bottom part is lighter. The top part is shadier. Is that a word? Shadier? More shady, slim shady. There we go. That looks pretty good. Alright. Uh, let's see. What am I missing? What am I missing? I think we need a little more dark in there. And for that, before we end this, let us get our magical pastels. And we'll have another video on the magical pastels, but effectively. That is the Jero Dark Green. The Jero Dark Green. It's black, but it's better than black. It's darker than black. dark green right there my friends like look at the difference look at the difference the eye literally came to life from the magical pastel known as Jero dark green all right so we're coming up on 20 minutes let us take a break and we'll come right back and um, start on the outside of this eye right here and show you a little bit of what we do on the outside. <laughs> 